Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a glimpse on concept of document splitting in SAP and its impact on financial transactions. Why we need document splitting? We need document splitting because we need reporting at three additional level that is profit center level, segment level and business area level. Let's directly uh, go to our SAP screen. So for that, for document splitting, we need to do few basic settings or basic configurations. SPRO, go to your SAP reference IMG screen. Under financial accounting, we have general ledger in this business transactions and we have an option called document splitting. And all the configuration related to document splitting we'll find under this uh, field okay so the first step that we need to do is to classify the gl accounts for document splitting this is the most important and the only important step in document splitting because everything for document splitting is predefined by sap so under this first we need to just give our chart of account uh, my chart of account is coming automatically and what we need to do here is in this step gs are classified according to the item categories according to business transactions nature that means uh, all my account group the number range that are assigned while creating account group are considered here and on the basis of those account group we assign a predefined categories so the categories that are predefined by sap are as follows like here we have all the predefined categories like balance sheet account zero balancing account then we have customer account vendor taxes account so on the basis of the number range or on the basis of account group we assign these categories and as we assign these categories my document splitting get gets activity activated now the document splitting is by default activated in the system I will show you it in like the last option that we have in document splitting is activate document splitting. In case we do not want to activate the document splitting, we just we just click on this dialog box and it will get deselected. But by default, SAP has given this option because in new GL accounting, document splitting is important because we need additional reporting at three levels that is profit center level business area and segment level right so as we have already we classified our gl accounts for document splitting now what we need to do is to classify document type for document splitting in this step all the business transactions business transaction variant are assigned to document type now almost every financial transaction is considered for document splitting so as we know that uh, document type is predefined at client level in sap and similarly the transactions and their variants are also predefined by sap the sap has already done this configuration uh, as it considered all each and every financial transaction is considered in document splitting let us see through an example let's find sa sa is our document type for journal account document so uh, the configuration is already done by sap we don't have to do the configuration here for sa document type the business transaction that defined is unset unspecified posting that means any type of posting without any specifications can be done under this okay and the variant variant for the unspecified posting is automatically fetched through it so these are the configuration what we need to do we just need to assign rgl these are already done by sap system now let's see its financial impact how the financial transaction will look like how the uh, data will flow uh, from our gl account to our controlling or to our segment level or business area level let's take a very easy example of a vendor invoice 
let's post a vendor invoice through FB60. Now what we need to do, we need to assign one GL account to two cost centers or two profit centers. Uh, let us do that practically. So let's consider an amount as one like eighteen thousand. Now my assign my tax is already assigned to my these GL accounts. So I need to select calculate tax. Let's assign one tax code. Now my GL account one is for rent. to 600 let's assign 80 to 600 and the rest is 35 35 400 my GL account would be same let me just change uh, I need to assign the controlling object that is cost center so I have predefined cost centers and uh, the cost centers automatically link to my profit centers and my business area and similarly the segments are linked to my profit centers so my uh, i need a so strong configuration to see the financial impact so i have assigned two different cost centers to it the next thing I, I just need to change my payment term. Enter. Now this is my journal entry. So the simple journal entry would be vendor to rent. That is of 1,18,000 and 1,18,000. But I split my entry by uh, defining two different cost centers let's simulate this entry and see uh, how it will flow into my gl so now the entry is quite complicated because under my one vendor i have uh, i have assigned two cost centers so my rent got split into 70000 and 30000 similarly the taxes on the rent got split by 12,600 and 5,400 because, because of uh, my cost centers. Then we have a TDS payable account. Uh, we have assigned our withholding tax account in this. So uh, the, the 10,000 is deducted from my vendor account. So I need to pay vendor now 8,000 only. So this is my complicated entry. Now how data will flow to my profit center, business area, segments. So this is my entry and I will simulate it to journal ledger view. Now this is my detailed entry if you can see. Now as a rent got split into two because of my cost centers available. Now I, need, I will just add cost center to it. I will also add business area. So now we have business area, we have segments and we have cost centers. So, so the rent entry we have, it got split into two and because of this splitting at cost center level automatically my vendor got split on the basis of profit centers on the basis of segments and basis of business areas separate business areas and then my taxes input taxes got split on the basis of profit centers segments and business areas additionally my withholding tax details got split on the basis of profit center. So all these splitting and balancing is done by the 
document document splitting concept in SAP. Now let's save this entry. Let's save this end document entry. And it's done. Now in case we need to make payment. Let's make a payment. Now while making the payment, uh, the account that will get affected all be the balance sheet account and uh, there would not be any assignment of cost centers to it. So how document splitting be done in that case? Uh, let's do it practically. Under accounts table, we'll do a payment entry. Outgoing payment. Let's post F-53, 13.12.2022. My bank account. Let's post 1,8,000 from our previous example. My open item would be the same account, the same vendor account. And let's process open item. Just select one like 8,000 and uh, let's simulate through journal ledger only. So now here automatically my profit centers and segments got picked up. Now this was a balance sheet item entry as the payment payment uh, is being done through bank and uh, my vendor and bank account was to get affected so my profit centers and segments got automatically affected now why this is being done this is being done through the concept of document splitting moving ahead with the configuration moving ahead with the configuration the next thing is to define zero balance account now, what are these zero balance account? Zero bal uh, balance clearing account in this step, we have to define a zero balance clearing account, which will be used to generate and balance out financial entry when it is not possible to balance out on its own. So in this case, what we need to do is to, is to assign a key and uh, like on the basis of that, assign our uh, debit and credit posting keys as there are some few defined, predefined here. I'll just select one of them. And my chart of account is BRIR. So under this, I have already defined my zero balance account. So in cases where uh, we do not have any account to balance out, in that case, zero balance account comes into existence. So zero balance account is a simple uh, GL account clearing in nature. So I have made a zero balance account. I'll show you the configuration for creating that FS00. 
so my company is opened already in this clearing account I have created a zero balance clearing account where I have assigned it to a clear field status group as G double G zero one one as clearing accounts and I have marked it to post automatically only and I have assigned my the next thing that we need to do is to define document splitting characteristics for GL ledger accounting now in this step we have to define the splitting characteristics additionally you can define whether this should be a zero balance account or also have a mandatory field so our main three fields are business area profit center and segment because we need reporting at these level only so this is all predefined by SAP we don't need to change these settings because the document splitting is automatically activated in the system but we just need to see that zero balance is activated do we have defined our zero balance account or not does we want uh, these field to be mandatory so these things we just need to check then the next thing we need to see is to edit constants for non-assigned processes So here in this step, the constants are defined, which helps to assign the default account assignment when it is not able to uh, derive from any of the sources. So in case uh, there uh, the balance is not there, then we can define the constant. So in this, we just need to do a new entry, define or create our own cons uh, con constant and just need to assign our own business area and segments to it so here we need to define our business area our segment and similarly we need to assign our profit centers by assigning our controlling area right so in case we don't have uh, any account to balance then what we will do we will assign a specific profit center business area segments to it so that can be done by this configuration. So these were the basic configurations and steps um, for document splitting. Now SAP support all business transaction, but in case it uh, doesn't support or suit any transaction or any of the client's requirement, the own splitting rule can be created and that can be created through this option extended document splitting here we have to define our own method our own rules then need to assign the methods and rules and define the business transaction variant so this was uh, the concept of document splitting in SAP uh, thank you all for listening